Hannah, yes. today's the day. What day? Today's the day that your favorite car goes away. Favorite car? The one series? No, that car's gone. That car's been gone. You want me to tell YouTube what you did? Yeah, I don't care. Tell him. Micah sold my one series that he beautifully surprised me with for YouTube. Sold it to buy his chaser. That's right, boys. I did it for you. I do this for you. But I and needed myself. to sell it because I needed a mom car. But he just sold it without telling me he was going to sell it. Anymore. Okay, the, now that you've made me look bad, what did I get you? <sighs> what series is it again? Wow. Five series. 2000. No, you didn't get me that. He was, he got that because he was going to flip it. And then we ended up keeping it. Yeah, so you're welcome. Because he ended up falling in love with how he built it. Yeah, it's freaking nice. But anyways, it's your car now. I need to feed this child. But today's the day. The 7 Series is going away. But I'm getting something else. But it's a good thing. You know why? Another JDM Hero car. I know. Micah is turning Japanese. I wouldn't say I'm turning Japanese. I would say, though, that I am expanding my view on the cars. Noah. Oh, the internet hasn't seen Noah yet. Because I wasn't trying to put her on the internet. Oh, sorry. Blurred face. <laughs> She's hungry. She's fussy. All right. I'll be back. So it's true. We're getting... Oh, I got to move that other car. Dang it. So many cars. The 7 Series is leaving the channel. Now, it was fun. We did a whole series on building this car and essentially how to build like a stance car for under around $5,000. And that's where we ended up with the car. And then eventually I got these freaking big old Johnnies from my boy Anthony over at Proper Fabrics. You guys know Tony. You see him all the time on the channel. But Tony had these wheels on his 7 Series. Nothing's really changed on the 7 Series from when we built it originally on the channel. But it's been a it's been a good car. We did the timing chain, a couple things like that. Something's going on with the PCV system, so it's smoking a lot. But the car that we're trading it for is kind of clapped but it is a jdm legend that's the whole thing i'm trying to jump out of bmws and into new cars and with me jumping into new cars comes things i don't know about certain cars i get to learn a bunch of stuff i also get to build a new audience and hopefully some of you guys who most of you are beamer heads who follow me we get to learn some stuff about jdm cars together so we already got the chaser chasers here we've been working on that been releasing that series if you haven't seen it i'm gonna miss this interior I had one of these before, and then I recently got this one. Not recently, but 2000, I don't know, 19. I got this car, and yeah, Pawnee, my Rottweiler, used to actually lay right in this area. She would go on cruises with me, and this was what I would consider her car. But I wouldn't think it's like really growing up, but I am, again, I am expanding my collection of cars and things that we can do on the channel, really. At some point, these cars become done, so to speak, done, and then they're just kind of sitting. And so I want to, swoop. I want to keep making content for you guys and producing stuff. And with that being said, I came up with a saying the other day and maybe we'll turn it into some merch. But what the saying said was that in sometimes in order to get the car that you want, you have to sacrifice the car that you have. And so in this case, it looks like trading it. In the Chaser's case, in the E46's case, it looked like cutting them into pieces. Now we're doing all right. This one won't be so bad. Oh, there's a big old German Shepherd boy there running around. Big old shepherd. I'd rescue you, bud, but we already have two rescues at the house. And you look like you belong to somebody. You look healthy. In order to build the car that you want, sometimes you gotta sacrifice the car that you have. And so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing with the 7 Series. I'm getting rid of it completely in order to get a different car. And it's gonna be sick, dude. And I can't wait to show you guys. And I think you guys are really gonna like it. The trade is an interesting trade because the car's value is around $6,000. At least that's what the guy paid for it. I don't think it's worth 6 k I would never pay 6 k Broke the 7 Series down like this. And I think this is pretty reasonable. The wheels are around $3,500 to $4,000 in themselves. The car's probably around $1,500, $1,200. And then you got like another $1,000 into like coilovers and other little suspension things. So with all that being in there, I was like, yeah, the car's pretty much worth around like five to six K. And the other guy paid six for his. So it is what it is. I was like, yeah, I think it's a good deal. And I really don't want to get rid of these wheels, but there's other wheels I actually want to build. There's also news, hopefully I get today, about what wheels I will be running in the future. And I hope that you guys will be down with it and, and be pumped on it for me that's a whole nother video but today let's just enjoy this last drive of the 7 series before she's gone bittersweet bittersweet
She's leaving. Last drive was good. She served me well. She did pretty good, man. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Here it is, guys, the very first giveaway from 2024. It's a 97 328 IS ready to go. It's got all kinds of goodies in it. We got ESR wheels, BC racing coilovers, brand new tires, M50 manifold. This thing is ready to go. So there's all kinds of stuff on the website you can buy. You can get a sticker. Those are generally five bucks. You can also get a t-shirt, a hat, a sweatshirt, a steering wheel, or you can even buy a status slash hold fast collaboration seat to get entered. Head to holdfast-usa.com. This bad 328 right here could be yours. I gotta say, I'm pretty stoked on this new adventure. Without further ado, 240SX. So a S13 hatchback, 93. It's got the KA24DE in it. So the dual overhead cam in it as well. It's got coilovers, wheels, tires, five lug swap, tint, a little bit of a body kit. There's some overs coming in. He's gonna shoot those to me when they come in. So we'll have overs and then also we're gonna figure out what's going on with the front bumper. We'll jump into more of a breakdown at the house and we'll really just run through the entire car and see what she's got to offer, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, but, but. It's pretty bad. I know what I got. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's terrible. Engine mounts are shot. Well, this should be fun. Good thing is I have a battery at home, so we'll just cut our losses on that thing and move on with our life. Here we go, first drive. Oh man, it definitely feels like I have jumped into a Japanese turd. Like this thing does not feel good. Thank God that my first impression to owning a Japanese car was not a 240. I think it was my WRX was the first one I had which felt like a freaking tin can also. But, man, after driving the 7 Series and jumping straight into this, I'm like, holy. This thing needs some BCs for sure. But I am pretty stoked. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for what it holds. There's a ton of things wrong with this car. 7 Series wasn't in the best condition, don't get me wrong. But yeah, the 7 Series is definitely way better. At least all the factory stuff on the BMW pretty much works, so. First impression, mistakes were made. Second impression, I'm excited to see what we can do. I've never got to build one of these before. And I'm excited to put my own like touch, my own flavor on it, go from there. It has Bluetooth, that's cool. Bluetooth works, we're listening to music, we're vibing, do some driving. Hannah hasn't seen it yet. I don't think she should be stoked, let's find out. Hey babe. Hi. You wanna come see the car we got? Uh, huh? You're scaring me. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad. Gosh, it's a piece of trash, is it? I don't know why you would call it that. Uh, what was that about? Let's see this new project. <laughs> Hold something for you. All right, come here. This is what every high schooler has ever dreamed of owning. Good thing you're doing it in your 30s. <laughs> Even better, we got one in our 30s. Even better, we got them when we're 40. Look, babe, it's a 240. I don't even know what that means. It's the model of the car. You said what? What makes this so special? That's a good question. The motor and it sucks. The transmission and it sucks. The front suspension is nice because it's a McPherson strut setup. The rear arms, people learned how to dial them in. There's already a lot of stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what all the hype is, okay? <laughs> I don't understand. That's why I've never like really gotten one though. That's why I've stayed away from them. I've never been super enticed by them. But as we progress again, it's time to start learning more things about more things. And so here we are. Maybe. I feel like that's something you should have learned. Just maybe we turn this into your drift car. Oh my goodness. 
Let's go make this up. I got you a car, babe. Babe, this video is literally going to be titled, I got you a car. I got her this freaking beautiful thing. And she's like, eh. Okay, but I gave it to you. Yeah, after Micah slammed this car, he was like, babe, I think you should just keep it. Yeah, I slammed it, I put it on wheels. And I was like, Hannah, mom car, dialed. But new mom, drift car. Mom car. Noah will fit in the back. She'll be all right. But Noah's drift car? Noah's gonna, heck no, I'm not gonna put my daughter in a freaking 240. Are you kidding me? What would you put her in? E46, minimum, M3, and you're gonna buy it. <laughs> 240, S13, tinted windows all the way around. I don't think it, I don't even know how to lock it because the key tumbler is broken. So there's that. But check this out. I want you to see this. Since you are the CFO of Hold Fast, I want you to check this out and I need approval on getting a new steering wheel for it. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> yeah, dude. Watch, jump in there. What did this fool do to this car? There's a couple of things, right? One, he either got hungry and chewed it off, or two, that is the cool guy grip position, and he wore it out because he's so cool. You know what I mean by cool guy grip position? Yeah. Yeah, sit in there. <laughs> jump in there. I don't want to sit in there. Jump in there. Display so the cool dirty. guy. It's not. It smells too. Yeah, it does stink. Get in there. You get in there. Yeah, fine, I'll show you. Here, hold this camera. Japanese drifting legend, dude. Check this out. Cool guy grip. You see what I mean? Don't I look cool? I mean, like right now, I look really cool. cool. But then, and like, if I go ago. right, but if I go like this, right? Yeah. Like normal. Uh huh. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I see it. Wait, do it again. You see it? You see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This one's gonna get me lucky tonight. Now put your hat backwards. <laughs> No, never mind. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it's it's really not that cool. I have all this paneling, like it's all deleted. Or it's not deleted, but it can't, it, they took it off because they're messing with stuff. Oh look, hazards work. We're gonna need those, that's for damn sure. Yeah, it's not that cool right now. It's not really cool at all, but it's got good bones. So we'll do what we always do. Make magic happen, turn it into something cool. We'll see. No faith. How about now? We'll do what we always do. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> That's funny. Cool guy grip. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta fix that too. Who has one of these? Hurt has one. Big Mike has one? Big Mike has one. Yeah, I was like, I feel like I've seen Big Mike. Yeah, Hurt has one, Big Mike has one, and I can't really think of anybody else. I don't really... Oh no. I don't pay attention to these. It's not my car. It's not my style. You're not a cool guy? Nah. I mean, Big Mike's steering wheel ain't worn out like that. That's for damn sure. But he also has a hold fast, so they don't wear out. So there's that. <sighs> Holdfast-usa.com. Get you one. Yeah, I mean, so. You made it sound like it was going to be a lot worse. I feel like you've brought in way worse cars than this. The E30 was in way worse position than this. I mean, in fact, it didn't even have the an E30 engine. The E30 had in it. things living in it. Yeah, there was, there was bugs in it. The motor's all stock, but the wiring's all messed up. I'm like leaving and he goes, oh, you should think about, keep in mind the, the fuel pump is wired weird. Yeah. He showed me it and I was like, oh, cool. And then I'm like, all right, dude, well, I think I'm gonna head out. And he goes, oh, actually, before you leave, let me have Edwin look at the fans because the fans aren't working. I was like, oh. Oh, by the way, after you've so, already signed contracts and- Oh my God, after yeah. After you've already decided to trade me cars. By the way, this and this and this and this. And by this the way. Car. By the way, by the way. Oh, and you might want to check this because then you might die. If you don't. Oh, he also left. He left his uh, girlfriend's name on the inside of the banner. It says Valerie. So I think I'm gonna name this car Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna be Valerie. This is the other thing that's funny too. It's like there's a Sylvia banner on it. But when I went to Japan, I got schooled on Sylvias with Gary. And this is not a Sylvia. This is indeed a 240SX. Yeah, it's a pile of junk. It's okay. One man's junk is another man's. One man's junk is another man's treasure. That's why I married you. Where's my baby?